Hi there, my name's Gail Porter. Welcome to Careers TV, your televisual and online guide to Britain's 21st century job market. In today's programme, we'll be taking a look at careers in regeneration and sustainability, talking to industry insiders from senior staff members to new recruits and graduates, all in the name of helping you, the viewer, to find out a little bit more about the sector and how it works. Over the last few years, the world has been bowled over by the issue of accelerating climate change and its effect on global civilization. Suggestions about controlling carbon emissions and limiting ecological footprints that would have been laughed at in the past are now being taken deadly seriously. And these are issues at the forefront of regeneration and sustainability. In 2007, Prime Minister Gordon Brown pledged the construction of up to 200,000 low carbon and carbon neutral homes in new eco towns, in addition to 3 million new affordable homes in new build and regenerated areas by 2020. In order to successfully deliver these mammoth projects, the regeneration and sustainability sector has had to expand to accommodate the demand and business is booming. The regeneration and sustainability industries cover a whole myriad of areas ranging from contaminated land, remediation, water management, ecology, air quality, waste, air pollution, to name just a few. Skill sets within the industry include such areas as geography, planning, architecture, engineering, geology, social sciences, science and technology, and project management, to name but a few. So without further ado, let's hear from our professionals what regeneration and sustainability is all about for them. Regeneration for me is the process of physically and spatially changing the world around us, from the building of new buildings to the contents of what goes in them. Regeneration deals with a whole range of things. In terms of our sort of the core elements of it, part of it is about stimulating enterprise, creating jobs, getting people to invest grow their businesses in Warsaw and create jobs and opportunities. The second aspect really is about equipping our residents, our skill, with the necessary skills to get those jobs and opportunities. But it's also about improving Warsaw as a place so people want to attract, are attracted to live there, invest there, stay there. So it's about looking at the Warsaw borough as a, as a place that's interesting and attractive to people. Sustainable development in the whole sector isn't a sector as such that is completely defined. If you're an architect you'll want to know about sustainability, if you're a graphic designer you want to know how to communicate sustainability and if you're a bus driver you, know, you need to know how to drive successfully and be sustainable. So in a sense Although we talk about it as a sector, there are certain people who make it their life to write a report and policy around sustainability. It is something that every single employer will need. Somebody who knows how to be sustainable, how to be environmental, how to be socially aware. Those are all important skills that can certainly be used. Regeneration is about the process of change of the world around you. That process takes a long time, so I think one thing that people should be looking, uh, expecting in a career in regeneration um, is that it will take time and therefore they need a degree of patience. Therefore a normal career in regeneration is one where you should be in it for the long term. What surprised me about the sustainability sector and my work is that it's a lot of meetings, it's a lot of report writing, it's a lot of emailing, it's a lot of um, talking to people and integrating different concepts and ideas and, and that level of management which I think is relevant to most jobs if not a lot of jobs. So I think it's very transferable. So that's the general gist of the industry but why should someone enter a career in regeneration and sustainability? One of the great things about a career in regeneration is it opens up a whole manner of different opportunities for people's careers down the line. Um, whether that's about working in different sectors, with the, in business, with the private sector or with the voluntary or community sectors, it opens up all those opportunities but also enables people to take different specific paths whether that's in careers such as planning or property development or whatever. So it's a, it's a really interesting career for people who might not necessarily know where their particular skills lie but are interested in working in an arena where they will get the opportunity to define that for themselves. I've always been interested in environmental issues, but to be honest I didn't really realise what they entailed until I started volunteering for a, um, a regional office of Friends of the Earth when I was doing my undergrad. Um, that gave me a bit more of an understanding about the way that local and regional environmental issues worked. It made me realise that that's what I was more suited to than large scale 
global warming epic size problems. Um, and so I went on from that to do a master's and specialise in sustainable development. Um, it was a really practical master's where we did lots of work out in the field and got to engage with lots of local um, sustainable charities and businesses. So I knew who was out there and made me decide that I wanted to work in the charity sector and not the private sector. Um, I'd heard a lot about groundwork and they've got a lot of entry level positions, that's why I started working here. Within the field of regeneration there's such a variety of career opportunities. My own career has been as an architect and a town planner, but day to day I work with criminologists, sociologists, archaeologists, people from a property and economics background, engineers, um, and therefore I think you can go into a career in, in regeneration with a particular skill, but day to day you'll come across so many other people with so different an outlook to your own. If that all sounds good, wouldn't it be helpful to hear some ways to get into a career in regeneration and sustainability? It would? Oh, aren't you lucky. In terms of getting into the industry of regeneration, the opportunities are many and varied. Uh, you can begin at a quite early age uh, during school through placements to gain experience into this environment, especially as the nature of the regeneration industry means that you're not just limited to, say, going into an architect's office. It, regeneration is happening through local civil societies, it's happening through community groups, it's happening uh, professionally and non-professionally. And you'd find it hard to turn the corner of any street in the UK without seeing change happening around you. And the people behind that change are increasingly local. So I think people looking for a career in regeneration should be looking around them at any age. There's a few uh, websites that specialise in envir environmental jobs and so when I finished my masters I started looking, sort of travelling through those, trying to find things that were suitable. Um, through my postgraduate studies I'd become quite aware of groundwork and the federation of trusts that exists across the country and I knew they had a lot of entry level jobs and so I, I did spend a lot of time um, targeted having a look at their websites. But beyond that, it was just looking for entry level jobs really. That was, that was the main way that I, found, that I found my position here. Okay, so you've had your basic overview of the industry. Let's take a look now at what people looking to get into the industry can expect to do on a day-to-day -day basis. When we have a, a new entrant uh, in this particular area, uh, the type of work they'll get engaged in in the first six months will, I think, depend on the type of organisation they work for. If it's community related, they will probably be hands-on straight away. They'll be out there in amongst the community getting involved in some active project which might be something to do with um, urban agriculture, uh, it could be changing play spaces, something that's of benefit to the community. Whereas if they're perhaps graduates and they go into a much larger firm, a multidisciplinary firm of engineers and planning consultants, something like that, they'll probably join a training scheme which might be anything up to about two years duration. But by doing that, they get exposure to many different areas of sustainability and the way that practice operates. And also, they have someone who can put their arm around them and be a bit of a mentor, you know, to make certain that, that they are trained in such a way they understand the company's business and also the challenges that the company faces. My role is I manage a team of um, seven project managers who are all involved in the um, overseeing the delivery of environmental improvements and other development projects. Um, across the borough in some of our sort of more deprived areas and indeed within the town centre. My current role is a regeneration officer and um, at the moment the kind of things that I'm working on are things like um, community regeneration, environmental improvements um, and another job is a kind of two million pound community centre. The sector I'm in now is interesting because it kind of cuts across a whole range of, of current issues so social issues, economic issues, uh, it, it's very people focused and I think that was very interesting to me to, to help kind of improve the, eventually the lives of people in, in run down areas. 